like that you were talking about people ha about positive politics and about having good minds behind you and having good ideas yes. and also about healthy food. You have already been told and you have created a document called the Social Assistance Review Commission. Yes. And the commission called for a $100 immediate increase to social assistance rates. That is going to be a down payment that will help towards prevention and help towards the social determinants of health. <coughs> premier Wynn, we see you as the social justice premier. We want to turn to you and we want the attack on the poor to stop. Premier, how will you help us? So let me, yes, and I appreciate, I appreciate this, and we did make some changes, as you know, in our, uh, our budget to, to that end. But let me just talk about the complexity of that for a second, because what that same report says is that we should, uh, we should move the money that's in the special diet allowance into that $100 a month increase. And so I, I'm not saying we won't do that, and I'm not saying that it's not the right thing to do. What I'm saying is it's complex. The way the special diet allowance increased over the years, it increased because people didn't have access to a living, uh, a, a living um, stipend. And so we've got to find a way to make that transition because um, to, to leave the special diet in place and to increase by $100 is a very expensive proposition. And I'll be honest with you, I would love to be able to increase all of those rates. I would love to have a housing allowance that was, uh, that was more reasonable. And so those are the kinds of issues that we need to work on. But I'm working with, you know, our Minister of, uh, of um, Community and Social Services, Ted McMeekin, you could not have a more passionate advocate. You could not. I mean, he is fantastic, and he is pushing us very hard on these issues, and he's pushing us, sorry, I'm, I'm humming here. <laughs> he's pushing us on uh, the supports for people living with disabilities, and so I'm very, very um, seized of this issue, and as I say, we've started in the budget to, uh, we started in this last budget to make changes, we will continue to make changes, and it's complex because there are inequities that are in place that we need to figure out how to tackle, and we need to do that with uh, with caution, quite frankly. Because I don't want I don't want a situation where someone who's living on a particular amount of money all of a sudden loses a huge amount of money and gets a small amount back. So we've got to do it carefully, and I appreciate your input. Thank you. Anybody else?